This tutorial explains how to work with the three CAD file formats, that can be opened in Lisa. Step, IGS, and STL. Once opened, Step and IGS files are listed in the outline tree. You have to right-click the file name, and generate the mesh, before any geometry can be displayed. To change the generated mesh, right-click the file name, then select Meshing Parameters. Type a value, for the maximum element size. The other defaults can be accepted. Right-click the file name, to regenerate the mesh. No matter what units the CAD model is in, the auto mesher will always convert the model into millimeters. Use the tape measure tool to check the dimensions of the auto meshed part. It works by left clicking and holding down the mouse from one node to another. The readout gives the distance between the two nodes. Right click, to exit the tape measure tool. If you don't want to stay with the millimeter model created by the auto mesher, Use the scale tool, to resize the model. After resizing the model, to display it completely in the graphics area, use the fit all tool button. The changed size can be checked, by using the tape measure tool. For IGS files, the meshing parameters, will always have the volume mesh option, disabled. This means that the CAD file will be meshed as a hollow shell model. To look inside of the model, the slider tool can be used. As can be seen, the mesh is a hollow shell model. To convert the hollow shell element model, into a solid element model, use the three-dimensional auto measure. Check that the volume mesh option is selected. The slider can be used to confirm that the mesh is now made of solid elements. STL files will be opened as triangle shell elements, without using the auto measure. The triangles of the imported model will not be connected with each other. This can be seen by using the open cracks tool. A zoomed in view will make it clearer. To connect the elements with each other, use the merge nearby nodes command. Specify a small radial distance within which, duplicate nodes, will be replaced by a single node. Using too large a value, can cause elements to collapse. To confirm that there are no gaps in the model, use the open cracks tool again. If you intend to perform a three-dimensional, static analysis with an imported STL file, the triangle shape will need to be converted to a quadrilateral. To convert the triangle shape into a quadrilateral shape, use the Change Shape tool. If you need to convert an STL shell element model, into a solid element model, use the three-dimensional auto measure. Check that the volume mesh option is selected. Use the slider, to confirm that the mesh is now a solid element mesh. The auto mesher will fail to mesh an assembly CAD file, if it was created from multiple CAD part files. You will have to create a model, specifically for finite element analysis, so that the entire assembly is a single CAD object.
try to prepare the CAD file to be suitable for finite element analysis. Remove non-essential features that concentrate elements around themselves, like small holes, fillets, rounds and any cosmetic features. This ends the tutorial, on auto-meshing CAD files in LISA. Please refer to the tutorial on local mesh refinement, to continue learning more about LISA's capabilities.